Hi, Genesis family. My name's Morgan. Today, we're going to do a half hour strength training workout that's focused on the core. We're going to hit the shoulders, hips, everything in between. Um, let's get going. Okay, for this workout today, we're gonna need a towel or a pillowcase, whatever you have at home, a small weight, and then a little bit larger. I have a 12 pound dumbbell and a five pound plate. So whatever you have laying around that um, can help create some resistance, we'll be using that. So first grab up your towel, we're gonna get our heart rate up. Elbows are gonna pull high and wide. We're just gonna tip forward and then pull back tight and then switch to the other side. Go ahead with me. I'm gonna keep that towel in close. Just a soft bend in that knee. Try to slide those hips back. Keep going. And really gonna squeeze the shoulder blades up at the top. A few more each side. You should feel that through the back side of those legs. Now we're just gonna start to squat and twist. So that fist is gonna go to the outside knee. Rotate the upper back. Again, sitting the hips down and to the back, chest is gonna stay lifted. Every time, pull those elbows high. Squeeze the shoulder blades. You're gonna start to step towards your TV with that right foot. Again, rotate, pull high. All 10 toes pointed forward. Keep the hips square. All right, two more, one each side. We're gonna start to train laterally. So right leg, step and shift the hips and switch. Straight side to side, try to lean into that hip. Chest stays up. Four more. And we're gonna go through that all again. Right foot, step, push, pull high. Now squat and twist. Now if you want to, you can start to get a little bit more range in the shoulders. Take that towel up and over. Plenty of tension on the towel. Engage those shoulder blades on the back side. Two more. Small step to me and twist. See how tall you can get. Four, three. All right, right leg, step to the side and lunge. Towel goes up, switch. Four, three. One more time. All right, get rid of your towel for now. We're gonna work down to the floor. Set up in a plank. Now it's a step. We're gonna raise the hips, drop and switch. Now your toe may come up off the floor. That knee might stay bent. Hopefully this move can get a little bit bigger as you get more warm. Hands right underneath the shoulders. Try to raise those hips to the ceiling. One more each side. All right, now that right knee, take it across to your left elbow. So pull, reset, and switch. Nice flat line on that back side. Squeeze. Two more. All right, stand it up. And we're gonna move on. So next part of our training, full body work, grab your larger plate or larger weight, whatever it might be. We're gonna work on getting the heart rate up using full body movements. So your first move, it's a horizontal plate swing to a regular plate swing, side to side, then up and down. So we'll start there. To make this move smaller, you don't have to jump. There's your option. All right, we're gonna get going. Wide stance in the legs. Chest is up, squat the hips down. Side, up. 
And I want you to focus on moving that load with your hips. Arms are gonna stay straight, chest up. Move it with the hips. One more each side. All right, hold right here. Keep hold of that plate. We're gonna take it down to the floor. Knees up over the hips. I'm just gonna show you where we're going. Plate or weight is in tight. Two curls, and then we swing and push to the top. All right, elbows in tight. About 90 degrees, curl, curl, swing, and roll down. Try to get both shoulder blades up off the floor. Plenty of space between the chin and the chest. One more time. All the way up, push. Roll back and we'll take it back to our feet. So round one again, breathe it out for a few seconds. So remember, use your options. Start with that wide stance in the legs. Side to side, we stay low. Back heel lifts and we're gonna pivot on the toes. Get yourself set up. Let's go. Side, get up. Back down. Remember, push with the hips. That weight should feel weightless as it's getting to the top right here. Come on. How quickly can you get up? One more each side. Hold right here. And we're gonna work back down to the floor. Same set. Knees up, elbows bent. Double time curl, and then we push to the top. Lift, lift, swing and push. Now you're allowed to use a little bit of momentum here, but still focus on those upper abdominals, getting you up off the floor. Two more. All right, last one right here. Get up. Okay, stay seated. We're gonna finish the set off with some extra work. Russian twist and then we kick both legs out from the side. Side, side, out, in twice. There we go, elbows are in tight. Let's do it. Side, side, out, in. Now if you need to take some off, keep the heels planted on the floor, or maybe you don't lean back into it as much. You can always ditch that weight if you need to. Working on as big a range of motion as you can. You got four more. Last one right here. All right. You can toss that plate or slide it off to the side. Take a few seconds to towel off if you need it. Set number two, we're gonna focus on the back side of the bike. So grab up your lighter weight. While you're breathing, I'm just gonna show you what we're doing. Both hands on your smaller load. Set up your weight on one leg. We're gonna keep it tight to the chest. Push forward, reach out as you extend that back leg. So we're gonna hinge, extend, pull in, and then reset. You can tap down with the opposite foot any night, anytime you need to check your balance. So going forward, and then we'll swing it to the side. 
Start on that right leg first. Plate is to your chest. Here we go, nice and smooth. Tip forward, reach, pull in, and stand up. Again, focusing on the back side. So hamstrings, glutes, up through the shoulders. How far can you drive that heel out? Nice, slow tempo. Try to keep everything square to the floor, hips and shoulders. One more. Now we're gonna change the direction of that plate push. We're gonna tip forward, arms go out, slide back to center and stand. And you might need to tap down on this one. Check your balance. Those wiggles are there for good reason. Let you know you're working hard, right? You can soft bend in that front leg that you're standing on. Helps you keep that backside engaged. Get one more, and we'll switch over to the other side. All right, stand that up, shake it out. Square up your feet. Catch your balance. Straight forward, tip, extend, pull in, reset. I'm gonna show you again from the side. Soften that knee, tip, reach with the arms, reach with that heel, pull in, and stand tall. Nice controlled motion, keep working. Now, as you go through this move, I want you to think about everything on your backside. See if you can squeeze a little bit more. A few more here, reach. Get ready to change up that move. So as you tip, arms are gonna go straight. Slide it out, pull it back in, and stand tall. Every time returning to that nice tall posture. Got a few more. How's our balance on this leg? Last one. All right, we're gonna get rid of the plate. Back to your towel. May need it for other purposes. Gonna lay it down. Now, we're done regular bridge before with the hip. Bottoms of the feet are gonna come together and we're gonna lay it on back. Now arms can be down by the side or that towel can be pulled tight right here, getting a little extra shoulder work in. So knees wide, we're gonna raise the hips and drop down. You should be able to feel the difference between that wide leg bridge and having your feet flat on the floor. If this is too much, feel free to come right here. Maybe do a few each way. You can try to pull that towel tight. It's nice, easy tempo up. We're gonna pause and then lower it down. Now, if you want a little extra as you raise the hips, towel goes up and over and then settles back in at the hip or at the shoulders. Squeeze and release. Again, many different levels. You can work right here. Use your best option for today. One more add on if you want it. You're gonna dig that outer edge of the shoe into the floor and raise the opposite knee. Again, very slow tempo here. I don't want any momentum. Should feel that in the outer side, outer edge of those glutes. About two more on each side. Is your towel still tight? And try to pull it apart, squeeze the shoulder blades. One more right here. All right, now hips are gonna come up. Towel overhead and just hold, squeeze, squeeze. 
Try to tuck those bottom, the bottoms of the feet together. Knees drop out wide. And release that. Good work. Okay, one la or two last sets of work. Again, grab some water if you need it. We're gonna set up back down on the floor, front side down. So our move, we're gonna walk out wide, sit through, walk and sit through. I want you to be as delicate as you can as you walk the hands and the feet. Try not to tap the hips to the floor on that sit through. It's okay to tap down a little bit, but keep the majority of the weight focused on that front side on the core. So set up, it can be knees or toes. Here we go. We're gonna walk to the right. Step. Back the other way. Yeah, nice and delicate. You can get side to side however you need to. More than one way to move here. If you're like me, you're trying to dodge the piles of sweat up here. Now on that sit through, can you tuck your knee up towards your chin? Tuck, pull it in. Let's get one more. All right, walk back to center with that plank. Hips are gonna go up. Unload the shoulders a bit. And then knees to the floor. Settle back up in your plank. Round two of this set. We're gonna pull the knee to the same elbow. Join in when you're ready. Now, if you're on your knees, same idea. Should be more of a horizontal pull rather than this way, okay? So try a pull lift from the hip. Work side to side. Got a few more here. Two and one. Hips go back to the heels, stretch it on out. We're gonna go through that all again. Shake out the shoulders. Wipe up a bit. Okay, we're gonna start walking our plank to the right this time. Walk. Pull. Now, if that lateral walking plank is too much, perfectly fine to stay stationary. Hold your plank and sit through as far as you can. One more each side. Are we feeling it in the shoulders yet? All right. Hips up to the ceiling, breathe, reset. Find your plank again, elbow or same knee, El same knee to same elbow, how about that? Tuck, back to plank and switch. Try to imagine pulling that bottom rib towards the top of the hip, squeeze, Four, three, last one. All right, set the hips back towards the heels. Stretch it out. Okay, grab up your weight. You might want to use your larger plate option, larger weight option for this one. On our back side. So we're gonna start with knees in, plate or weight is gonna go opposite direction of the legs. A nice smooth tempo. 
See how much distance you can create between that plate and the legs. Now if you want to, straighten out, come up in little paws. Drop the heels, squeeze to the top. We are getting so close, you guys. Come on, really stretch, lengthen. Get back up. Again, at any point you want to ditch that weight, go for it. Four more. Two. Last one. All right. We're gonna keep a hold of that weight. Final set of training here. So we're gonna smash out that front side. Three moves. We're gonna go through three different times. Legs are gonna be straight. We're gonna take the plate towards the opposite toe. Then we're going to keep a hold of that plate. Legs go out straight, tuck them in, back to the top. Okay, from there, we'll lift the hips. Now once you try to keep that plate or weight overhead as much as you can, you can always rest it down on the chest if you need to. So right here, legs are straight. Reach, three, two, lower the legs down straight, tuck them in, straighten it back up. Two more of these, we'll go into that hip lift. All right, knees can be bent or you can straighten them out, drive the heels towards the ceiling. Three, two, all right, plate side to side. Reach. Legs straight, drop the heels towards the floor. Tuck it in. Now do your best to keep that lower back flat on the floor. Pull the navel in towards the spine. One more time. Now we lift the hips. Four, three, two, plate goes side to side, reach. One more, legs stay straight, drop the heels. Tuck in and lift. One more, let's lift the hips, come on as high as you can for four, three, two, all right, shake that out. One last finisher here. We're gonna ditch that load. Elbows go to the temples. Now it's a curl and a reverse curl at the same time. Some people call this a suitcase crunch. We're gonna go quick and we're gonna hang out here for a little bit, elbows wide. So again, lifting the hips as you lift the shoulder blades up off the floor. Quick. Now you may feel like you're getting a little sloppy at this point in the game. That's okay, I want you to control your movement as much as you can. Try not to rush it even though we're going quick. Stay in control, lift and squeeze. You can get a little bit bigger with that range of motion. Come on. 15 seconds. Come on, four, three, two, last one. Relax, shake that out. So we're gonna stay on the floor. Stretch it out just a little bit. Hips back towards the heels. Reach up and overhead. Thread one arm through. Just gonna keep an eye on that bottom hand. Rotate the upper body. We'll come up and switch. All right, step one, leg out to the side. We're gonna open up that torso.
Reset, walk that other foot in, wide stance in the legs, either elbows or hands to the thighs. Just rock the hips out. Come into a narrow stance, hips up, soften in those knees. Slowly roll to the top. One more balance check. Catch your balance. Push the hips back. And we'll switch. Take it on up, quadricep stretch. Push that knee down towards the floor. Working our way up to the shoulders, one arm behind. Relax that ear down towards the shoulder. Roll it on over. And we'll take big stretch up and overhead. Reach towards the ceiling. All right, slowly roll those arms down. If you need more stretching, check out some of our yoga videos on Genesis Go. Thanks for joining me today and hope you have a great day. Thanks.